Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. He's mastered the art of photography, won several prestigious awards, and is Guam's sole Pulitzer Prize winner. And beginning Thursday, photojournalist Manny Chrysostomo's life work will be on display at the Art Plus Journalism, Manny Chrysostomo 40 Years of Images exhibit. I started, uh, I was an intern reporter at the PDN when I was 17, right out of high school. And then I went to UOG and, and worked for the papers there. And so that, that sort of the, the 40 years started when I was right out of high school. In 1989, Chrysostomo won one of the highest honors in journalism, the Pulitzer Prize um, for Feature Photography. At the time, he was working with it, the Detroit Free Press. Detroit's a pretty violent um, town to begin with, and, and it seems to affect a lot of the young kids. And so there was a body of work. I worked with reporters on, on the juvenile justice system and, and then kids killing kids, pretty much. And then I just felt like we're painting Detroit as this sort of violent place, but there's still a bunch of kids that are just kids. His series documenting the experiences of students at a Detroit inner city high school, titled A Class Act, The Life and Times of Southwestern High School, eventually gained him international acclaim. To get to that point, Chrysostomo said it's taken practice, an innate eye for photography, and also what he feels is an outside force guiding him to the perfect shot. I think a lot of it is, is maybe, you know, my mom and dad have passed away or it could have been just the, just the spirit on the island. You know, I, I like to think of it, although people would probably get mad, as sort of my, uh, my benevolent Tatamona. Over 150 photographs representing some of Chrysostomo's best work over the past four decades will be on display from September 15 to October 29. The exhibit also features a youth tour and discussion with Chrysostomo on September 16, photographer's conversation on September 19, and a public lecture at UOG on September 21st. The exhibit is at the Aganya Shopping Center and opens at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.